A viral tweet on Twitter would break the internet as it just stated, I've been quiet for too long. First month of 2024, I'll be announcing what's really going on with Tupac Shakur as a rapper compared the truth behind his alleged passing to evidence of him being alive, as the results of comparing both of them is very interesting, as an interview from Suge Knight would make a convincing case towards Tupac still being here. Tupac was apparently doing fine in the hospital before his passing, where Suge Knight would state, when I left that hospital, me and Pac were laughing and joking, so I don't see how someone can turn from doing well to doing bad. I mean, when I left that hospital, me and Pac was laughing and joking, so I don't see how somebody can turn from doing well to doing bad. So you and seriously think that he might still be alive? Never as one Suge Knight was done his interview with TMZ, he would want to further prove his theory about Tupac still being alive. He would have his manager release a never-before-seen interview from decades ago, where he would state the exact same thing that Tupac was alive and that he was well. So he he was conscious on the way to the hospital. <laughs> he was conscious on the way to the hospital. He was conscious of the ambulance. He was conscious after um, after they did the surgery. What was the last thing that he said to you? They love As the very weird part was after Suge Knight released the very old interview, he almost lost his life at a nightclub where a firearm was used in his direction six times. Suge Knight was hesitant to tell the police anything, but many believe that it was all connected to him talking to TMZ about Tupac being alive. Even in 2018, Suge Knight's own son would take it to Instagram, stating that Tupac was alive and living in Malaysia. As Suge Knight Jr. was posting several photos of Tupac being alive and making very bold claims. Until a few hours went by where he would then post to his Instagram a text conversation where someone said, You said too much, it's time for you to go. Suge Knight Jr. would would then start panicking, posting several photos of Tupac alongside modern day celebrities such as 50 Cent and Beyonce, as it seemed as if someone was going after Suge Jr. for leaking all of this info. Even on the photo with Tupac and Beyonce, Suge Jr. captioned it, he never left us, but they'll be after me soon. While some believe this was a publicity stunt for Suge Jr. to gain social clout, others believe that it was all factual, as if anyone were to know more about this case, it would be likely Suge Jr., considering his father was right there at the scene. Then in 2010, a rapper named Tretch was interviewed on the topic of Tupac before his show. Tretch and Tupac were very close friends back in the day, but here's where things get weird. After Tretch's interview, the cameraman forgot to stop recording, placing his camera onto the floor. In the footage, you can hear the interviewer asking Tretch about Tupac, to which Tretch responds, last time I saw him, he was in Cuba. So if you ain't ready for it, get on the sidewalk. Then after doing some investigative research, I was able to find a video from the year 2000, where on a news website showed a video of Tupac supposedly chilling in a parking lot in Cuba. Hollaback exclusive, baby. Hollaback. As when you connect all of the evidence to the new police reports of how Tupac allegedly passed, you could start to see the truth behind the situation. As the police recently arrested a man named Keefe D in connection to the crime. For 27 years, the family of Tupac Shakur has been waiting for justice. We are here today to announce the arrest of 60 year old Dwayne Keith Davis, AKA Keefe D of Tupac Shakur. Davis was arrested this morning by my LVMPD criminal apprehension team and this investigation started on the night of September 7th, 1996. It has taken countless hours, really decades, of work by the men and women of our section to get to where we are today. As on September 7th, 1996, Tupac was in Las Vegas with the head of his record label named Suge Knight. The two were off to the MGM Grand to watch a Mike Tyson match, as after it was over, they would spot an op in the lobby of the hotel. Suge Knight and their entourage went to the Mike Tyson at the MGM Grand. Keefe D and his nephew, Orlando Lane Anderson, and two of their friends were also there. Keefe D told LAPD detective Greg Kading more than a decade ago in a proffer that couldn't be used against him. The thing was retaliation. 
after Tupac jumped Orlando and him up at the casino. Surveillance cameras recorded the fight. Tupac was angry that Lane had stolen his necklace years prior in Compton. Tupac, Suge Knight, and the entourage left the casino quickly. As security would go and break up the altercation between Tupac, Suge Knight, and the Ops. However, they weren't able to save him later on in the night. As Tupac and Suge would go back to their hotel to change, they would then head off to a club to go party it up. As at around 11 p.m., the two began heading to the club where things would go down in the street. Here's new about Tupac's concert at the club 662 members, including Orlando and Keith D, jumped in their white Cadillac and started cruising the strip looking for the offender. Before long, they finally spotted Tupac's caravan. At the intersection of East Flamingo Boulevard and Koval Lane, the white Cadillac pulled alongside the black BMW with Suge on the driver and Tupac on the passenger seats. The back window of the Cadillac rolled down twice in the chest, once in the arm, once in the thigh. As the aftermath of the incident was a mystery for now over a decade until today. As the police investigated a concerning interview by a man named Keefe D on DJ Vlad's show. As during the interview, it begins with him literally detailing the moments of finding Tupac and pulling up on him. And uh, Bubble Up was a driver and uh, Baby Lane and Freaky were in the back seat. We were just all in the car together. Okay. This was the white Cadillac. Yeah. So you guys are driving around, and then you hear these girls say, Tupac, Tupac. Got to the light, we used to go uh, drink, and he happened to be hanging out the window. He was hanging out the window like he was in a parade. Tupac? Yeah, he was. So what happens next? You said that as you're driving up towards the, towards the BMW, with Suge driving and Tupac in the passenger seat. As DJ Vlad was a little skeptical on what Keefe D was saying in the interview, he would then want Keefe D to show some sort of evidence as Keefe D would then go on to release a never before shared interview of his police interrogation on the week of the crime. Lane starts to um, You say Suge looks over, he sees you. Uh, he looks right at you. Yeah, he looks at Okay. When he looks over at you, and then, you know, Tupac's busy getting sh Evidently, the story is Tupac's trying to either get out yeah, of the line. back seat or something. Yeah, what do you see happening inside of their car? I seen him going to shoot again. I thought he was I thought he was So Orlando comes in for cross Dre. He leaned over on the window. We rolled down the window. Confirming that he was actually at the crime scene and even kind of basically self snitching on himself He shared that he was inside of the car and even made eye contact with Suge Knight when it was all going down What he would go on to say next was even more concerning as he would state that it only happened because Tupac was reaching for his firearm You said that as you're driving up towards the towards the BMW With Suge driving and Tupac in the passenger seat and you said that Tupac pulled out a it looked like he was reaching, yeah. Yeah, it did. He okay. Was, yeah. Did you actually see? No, I was. Once he got the region, I got the ducking. So, someone from your car. That's what I was. Started Tupac and Shook. During the police's investigation, they'd also be able to find Keefe D's initial reaction to Tupac passing, which goes and shows his true emotion. Yeah. I just, I hate that happened, dog. You know, I, I really do, man. Cause it f***ed up, f***ed up a lot of people's lives, dude. Hate to get happen. Probably to God. I feel they should, you know, they should, that, that was wrong, man. It was just wrong, purity wrong. You know what I'm saying? I wish it had never happened. You know what I'm saying? That's my opinion on it. It should never happen, dude. You know what I'm saying? I lost my Colombian plug. You know what I'm saying? I had to, been having the fans up for 15 years. Couldn't do nothing. Couldn't catch a break, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I did time by. However, the very weird part is that Keefe D wrote an entire book on being involved in Tupac's passing titled Compton Street Legend. It includes interviews of him literally hinting towards doing the crime and being there. So why is he now just being arrested after decades? As many believe that it's connected to Snoop Dogg in his interview that he did recently, as Snoop Dogg would be announced to be getting investigated by police for being involved. As a tweet would state, breaking, Snoop Dogg arrested and questioned a two 
Tupac's passing, police questions the rapper's recent interview. As during a Snoop Dogg interview, he would reveal that he was actually supposed to be inside of the vehicle with Suge Knight and Tupac on this night. However, he decided to change his mind. You were with Tupac, though, in regards to Tupac. Did you, I heard a story, did you give him different advice that night on where to go? I didn't give him no advice. Right. We wasn't seeing eye to eye. Right. So. Same during the Tyson. Yeah, we, this was, this is, this is that, that I'm explaining to you right now was the day before that. Okay. So when they got to Vegas, they went their way, I went back. I mean, when we got to LA, they went to Vegas and I went home. That's why I wasn't in the car, isn't in the car with them. While some believe that Snoop Dogg knew that this was gonna happen to Tupac, others believe that having more people inside of the car would have made it a very messy situation if Tupac was actually faking his passing by having another celebrity inside of the vehicle when he's trying to do this act. Comment down below what you believe happened.